uh, where our water comes from, this is a picture of what we call the, like the hydrologic cycle for Oahu. If you took a slice down the middle of the island and kind of looked at it from the sidewards, uh, you'd see uh, it would start with uh, evaporation over the ocean, uh, that water vapor precipitates in the clouds and falls on the, on the important watershed lands uh, that are Mauka and helps to recharge our underground aquifer. And we were very blessed on, in the middle of a very salty ocean, the Pacific Ocean, uh, we have an abundant supply of fresh water. And it's because of this, uh, what we call cap rock, which is the indicated in yellow around, it acts like a dam around the coastal areas. Uh, and that cap rock is less permeable, less uh, made up of marine sediments and deposits. Uh, so it helps to build up the freshwater body behind it. And over time, this uh, freshwater aquifer is built up over the island um, where it is a hundreds of feet thick. Um, in the area of Kapukaki, uh, the elevation of the water table at the top of this aquifer, which uh, is about 18 or 19 feet. And when you think about it, for every foot above sea level, uh, there's like 40 feet of freshwater below it. So it's almost like an iceberg that exists under our island in the porous lava rock. And that is the uh, fresh water that we, uh, we tap for our drinking water. Below it is salt water. Uh, and between the fresh and salt water is brackish water where they kind of mix between each other. So we're very blessed. And we take water from different sources that uh, we have, tunnels up in the Mauka areas uh, where we can tap the uh, dikes, the water that's entrained at higher elevations and uh, water can flow out of these tunnels without electricity. Or we have inclined shafts that skim the water off the top of the water table like our halava shaft, which is presently closed. We have many deep wells that tap deeper into the aquifer and near the coastal areas, like especially in Honolulu, we uh, punch a hole, drill a hole through the cap rock into the aquifer below and water can flow freely uh, on its own under artesian pressure. Uh, the cap rock surrounds most of the island and this, uh, this graphic is shown in light blue here on the coastal areas, about 137 miles of cap rock uh, around our island. And these are the different aquifer areas or hydrologic units in, in the Honolulu uh, in the aquifers for Oahu.